OK, I think it's only fitting that we start with this one. And that's because it is regarding Coolio. Now, I'm sure a lot of you that are watching this are aware that only a few days ago, uh, Coolio sadly passed away. From what Coolio's manager has uh, stated that he appeared to have suffered cardiac arrest, although we do not have a definitive answer on the cause of death yet. Now, the weird thing, perhaps, is about Coolio's death is only five months ago he came on to a... He did an interview where in it he seemed to be exposing in some way um, the Illuminati and the elite control and perhaps nefarious influences within the music industry. Julio was telling me about how a couple of, I'm not going to say no names, but some big, big top top hats of the industry were coming at him. Males, by the way, were coming at him asking for sex. You know, um, they were coming at him talking about some child trafficking stuff and, you know, we were going to expose it all. There's a lot of shit I know that I want to tell people. It's a lot of things that I want to teach, but I'm afraid. I'm going to be honest mm. with you. I'm scared because I, I got four grandchildren. And I got, I got, and I got, I got children that are in this world. I got people I care about. And they, I got people that I care about that, that, that don't necessarily believe what I believe. Yeah. The height of success that I had and the things I was able to do, the amount of records I sold and Actually, the amount of, um, I don't want to say political power, but the amount of social power that I, that I was able to achieve, you would think that I would be a prime candidate for the, this, for this, just to be, so we could say, we could call it something for, to be a member of the Illuminati or a member of the elite society or whatever. You would think that I would be, that they would, come at me, and I, I think they did. I've had motherfuckers come at me on some weirdo shit, like on some gay shit. I've had motherfuckers come at me on some, oh, you should do this type shit. And I was like, wow, what? Man, what the, why the fuck would I do that? <laughs> wow. Make no sense. I, I, I view that as being um, inhuman. I view that as, I, I would never do that. I have no fear of death. And I think that those that would oppose my my beliefs, they they've probably done enough if 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 somebody's after me or if somebody's watching me, then they know enough about me to know that I have no fear of death. So killing me don't mean shit. It just it just confirms that what I said was true. So Tribute to Coolio. And uh, also, I love this song. This is one of my favourite all-time songs. You know, I oh, gangster out to this. <laughs> the thing is, is I remember uh, back when I made part one that I did come across this Mandela effect. And this may be a testament to my bad memory or even support uh, the misremembering of facts um, of, of why Mandela effect uh, occurs. So I remember the issue with uh, Coolio's Gangsters Paradise, as many people remember the chorus as being saying four times, been spending most our lives living in a gangster's paradise. This was repeated four times in every chorus. That is, is what the Mandela effect was meant to be, the, first, the beginnings of that. So I can tell you it's not that, but I can see how people could get confused. Um, I believe that the, the, the chorus that it currently is in this reality um perhaps was perhaps is the real chorus um check check it out guys <laughs> okay so it would seem that there's two different lines that are repeated uh twice um, to make up uh, four lines of the chorus. And I, I think this explains why people are getting mixed up um, with what the words, and, and I did as well. You know, I'd always been singing it as been spending most our lives living in a gangster's paradise. However, um, that is not even a line of the chorus. Um, it's a, an amalgamation, I believe, of what it actually is. 
So the first two lines, you know, they, they say, been spending most their lives living in the gangster's paradise. Been spending most their lives living in the gangster's paradise. And then it says, keep spending most our lives living in the gangster's paradise. Keep spending most our lives living in the gangster's paradise. But <laughs> saying this, I thought it was a gangster's paradise. I thought it was been spending most our lives living in a gangster's paradise. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, but I think the the, the difference of been spending uh, most their lives and keep spending most our lives, that might be where the uh, been spending most our lives have come from. It's the amalgamation of those two different variations. Um Living in the gangster's paradise. I always thought it was a gangster's paradise. Now, there's a few more lines um, where people have, you know, say they remember it differently. There is one that I definitely remember differently. And I've seen someone else mention this when I was just researching this. Um, however, they don't remember it the same as me either. But they remember it being very different. And it, uh, <laughs> this one, it does not sound the same uh, as, as, as the lyrics uh, claim it is. Uh, check it out. The situation they got me facing. I can't live a normal life. I was raised by the state, so I gotta be there with the hood team. Okay, so it says, uh, look at the situation they got me facing. I can live a normal life. I was raised by the. What does it say? Um, you know, people say that it was uh, raised by the state, raised by the stripe. Um, I can live a normal life. I was raised by the. I thought it was. I was raised by the strife. Um, I mean, I suppose. I mean, it, it makes sense. You know, strife is struggling. Um, you know, uh, you know, he, he couldn't live a normal life. He was. He struggled growing up. That, that kind of made sense to me. Um, and it sounds it sounded like it to me. Although you can't really hear what he says. What he certainly doesn't say, or, or I would say that you know you certainly can't hear, um, is, is is what it claims that it actually was. And if it was this, then you know he certainly didn't um, pronounce it. You can't hear the the actual word that you know. It, <laughs> It claims is, is, you know, it actually is. Look at the situation that got me facing. I can't live a normal life. I was raised by the street. I'm going to play it one more time and, and I'll leave it there. Guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Does it sound like I was raised in the street? Uh, I thought the way I always remembered it was, you know, sounds about right. I was raised by the strife. Let me know, guys. I can't live a normal life. I was raised by the state, so I gotta be there with the hood.